Hi guys, my name is Chandramani and today you are watching this video NI streaming and welcome to this video. Uh, after complete of this video, you will launch the NI streaming in Windows Server 2012. It's one of the future of Windows Server 2012 R2 and I will show you how we configure it and how, what is the uh, val value for this configure this, uh, this NI streaming in Windows Server 2012. Okay, before configure, before going to the configure part, we should understand the theory part and like that what is the NI streaming, what uh, the features is contained in NI streaming and uh, what will, uh, you know, give uh, to learning towards, uh, you know, to configuring Windows Server 2012. Okay, so before, before starting this uh, NI streaming, we should understand what exactly NI streaming. So again, I am welcome to this, uh, welcome to this uh, series because uh, uh, NIC teaming is a new feature of Windows Server 2012 so after uh, watching this video if you uh, want to give any comments you can give comments if you wanted to ask any questions you can ask uh, in the comment box if you wanted to like this video you can like if you want to get the videos on your mail and every day whenever I upload and, and publish some videos new videos if you wanted to get the first then definitely you should subscribe it okay as you wish what you want right so this video is uh, for the NIS streaming overview what is NIS streaming in the next slide so NIS streaming is also no, lo, uh, known as a load balancing and failover I mean what uh, it, it will create the load balancing and failover what NIS streaming will create the load balancing and failover yes guys it is <coughs> how this uh, it allows the multiple network adapter and a computer to be placed uh, in a team for this uh, following purpose what is the purpose one is the bandwidth aggregation and second is the traffic failover to prevent connectivity loss in event of uh, network component failure means what I, I can give an example so you can better understand so in a one system we have the multiple network suppose I have one server uh, name is cmsahu.com we have a three network card okay mm -hmm. i'm just given example we have a three network card right network card nic1 nic2 and nic3 right whenever i i i, I need the data uh, from from the pocket bill transfer to my request uh, to the switch so it will transfer in nic1 right but and um, i have a three nic card right every nic card having the one gbps speed right at that time what I happen the bandwidth will come in one NIC card that what you thinking the at 1 gbps per se, 1 gb per second you will get the pocket no guys it is three cards right so it will aggregate your bandwidth will increase like uh, three times like uh, three gbps per second will come so definitely you will get the bandwidth aggregation this is what the features in NIC streaming you will get right and uh, the second is uh, traffic failover to prevent connectivity loss in the event of network component failure means what i told you i have my server name is cmsahu.com i have a uh, three cards one is nic1 nic2 and nic3 so i can give you an example see i have nic1 nic2 and nic3 right so i told you the second option was is uh, traffic failover to prevent connectivity loss in the event of network component failure once it failure then we will we will we never lose our connectivity because uh, in, in price environment in uh, uh, production environment we cannot tolerate these things right client cannot be tolerated if you lost the connectivity because 24 sets should be run the connectivity should be 24 for that we need to create the failover we need to clear the clustering we need to create the load balancing so this is what we never we uh, never we get the connectivity loss it's a zero tolerance that is what see we have a, i told you we have a three nic card one two three if one card will be lost then it will the traffic will goes to the secondary that is what nic if nic two will be lost you will get the traffic from the nic so there is no chance of the losing the connectivity so this is what the second point i told you traffic failover to prevent the connectivity loss in the event of network component failure if in this between in the three out of three network card if first network card will fail then it will go to the second if the second will fail it will go to the third so it should not be right the continued process will go so this is what benefit of an IC streaming so thanks for watching this video and we will coming the next part of this next video so do not forget to watch this video thanks for watching this video again